Hi everyone, you've been asking for some updates on how all my little tanks and things are doing, so here we are. Obviously I'll do, I've do. i got the big tank as well, I'll do you a separate update on that uh, soon because I am having a bit of a makeover in there. So, Nano Tank 1, as you can see, Daddy White Cloud is still very happy. Shrimp are doing great. Um, there's quite a few in there now, I think they're breeding. Uh, Mommy White Cloud is probably hiding around the back somewhere. Yeah, I think I can see her in the distance. They keep breeding, so there's, uh, yeah, she, she's around the back spawning quite a lot. Plants are taking over. I've got a new uh, couple of new plants in there and the floaters are doing well. The, uh, there's another shrimp, look, <laughs> cleaning the front of the filter. Filter is so well established now, I don't disturb it. I might just give the foam a little bit of a squeeze out at some point, but it's running so well. Uh, I've put a little baby pothos in there that's the sort of half in the water, half out. Emerged, they call that. It's meant to be good. So I thought I'd put a little cutting in there and it's rooted really well. So as you can see, the plants are going crazy. I keep having to prune them back every so often, which is quite a nice problem to have. The hydrocotyl, that's the one on the left, that is going berserk. Um, and so I have to keep prune that back really regularly. But yes, all is well. And I'd so underestimated how beautiful a long, thin white cloud is. Just look at that. Isn't he stunning? And he's the king of his tank. It's probably the only tank where he'll be the biggest fish. <laughs> anyway, moving over to Nano Tank 2, even more of a little jungle. Um, the Anubias have rooted themselves onto the wood, which is great. Uh, again, the Hydrocotyl's taking over. It's gone all up that bit of bog wood in the middle. Floating plants are doing really well. And there's even an Anubius plant or bits of little baby plants, I think, growing all over the top of the bit of bogwood that sticks about the water. And Fetonia cutting I poked in. And as you can see, that hydrocotyl is even trying to take over the filter, as are a couple of ficus ginseng cuttings that I popped in. So this tank's doing really well. What you can't see at the moment is fish. Uh, well, there's a tight look right in the middle, tiny baby. The little endlers are breeding. They haven't long fed actually. I should have waited to feed them until I got the camera out. They're all looking really well. And the nerite snails have settled in a treat. Some of you are asking for a bit of a sense of how big these little tanks are. So I've put a ruler in front of this one. Small is the answer to that. But of course, from above, they go back further than they are wide. But they are blooming tiny. I've got decent lights on them and they're really over filtered, I think, really. So they, they do OK. But really, that white cloud is probably far bigger than should be in there, really. I'm going to, once he's popped his socks, I'm going to leave that one just to shrimps and maybe some little celestial Daniels, Daniels or something. Today. Anyway, I'll come back to tank two if the fish appear. <laughs> yeah, but it's all looking very healthy. Proper little jungle, isn't it? Lovely. Now, over to the isopods. Um, this is the original isopod tank. It's really hard to work with reflections here, so I hope you can see past my reflections. Um, th this is doing really well. The little plants are taking nicely. Uh, there's no isopods on the go at the moment because, of course, they're a bit nocturnal. But they've been out and taken some of the fish food sticks I put at the front there, so I'm sure they'll be out later. And the exciting news is we have babies in this tank. Now, I could see one earlier. Where's it gone? I think that might be one on this little bit of wood here. I can't zoom in any further. Is that, or is that a springtail? They're so tiny it's hard to tell, but there was one. There's one! Right in the middle there. Cool, sorry about the camera shake. It's a problem when you zoomed in this far. <laughs> so we've got babies. That's the Al albino armadilliums. Now, in this little terrarium, um, I've got I might fish these out well I was going to fish these out those are fish food sticks but the centipedes and the dairy cow isopods haven't eaten yet and so of course they've gone all damp and there's mold all over them but if you look really closely those little orange dots that is a whole load of little orange springtails so I'm going to leave it a little bit and see if they clear that up all on their own it's rather a lot I might take just one out and pop it into my springtail colony because I'm a bit worried about that <laughs> it's a bit much anyway uh, over here we have our tiny tiny little terrariums and by tiny I mean here's my finger these are tiny they are what are they two inches high three inches high at most 
Now the one at the back here, that is the first little micro one I did. I've put a little plastic, clear plastic lid on the top now to let the light in. But the little uh, oak leaf fig has taken really well. It's put out some new leaves and it's trying to grow along with the moss. So a little, little bit of rock that I put in there. Uh, this one I only planted a few days ago and it was a pound, this jar, from a pound shop and it had inside it a load of paper clips. So <laughs> I emptied them out, got rid of the cork and put a perspex top on it and away we go. So there's another little bit of oak leaf fig in there. A little bit of wood. Um, I want that to sort of grow up looking like a little bit of forest floor. This one I don't know what I'm doing with. The plants are kind of going okay in it but it just looks really messy. So I, I might redo do something with that at some point. Over to this one. This one's going crazy and as you can see I've just put in a food stick and a bit of cucumber because there's now a load of little dairy cow isopods in it. But it is growing really nicely. That is growing in brilliantly. Petonias are doing well. The little cutting I took off my um, weeping fig going well and that is it some sort of peperomia I'm trying to think what that plant on the left is but that's going crazy and this green lush plant at the front is out of the fish tanks I think it's Monte Carlo <laughs> and a bit of hydrocottle here I've got a little carnivorous plant the idea was to catch any fungus gnats that are buzzing around but I don't think it's happy there it's only been there a few days and it doesn't look happy Having said that, it came through the post, so it's probably still recovering. So I might move that soon, put it on a windowsill somewhere. And then this little chap here, this is a little jar that's got a hole in the top that I picked up cheap earlier this week. So we've got an anubius and some moss in there and some little bits of slate. And we'll just see what happens. Anubius is typically an aquarium plant, but they can, as we have proven here, grow out of water as well. So there you are. There's a bit of an update and so I'll keep you posted. Like I said, I'll do a bit of an update on the big tank soon as well. Because I am converting that over to live plants gradually. So it will be, uh, be interesting to see how I get on with that. The pleco is moving out. I found him a new home. So that should help the plant situation somewhat. And I have got... Oh, you missed him. That was one of my baby endless came around there. My foot. Is he coming this way? On the first batch of baby endless. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have got a, a, a CO2 system running on it now. So we'll see how we get on. I want to turn it, I want to make a giant version of this basically. <laughs> so, ah, there's one of the endless. There's one of the parent endless. <laughs> so I'll see you all for the next video. Um, and yeah, I will get you up to date with the big tank soon as well. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you for the next one. Bye.